Tonight, new criminal charges in the death of a bicyclist. Emily Fredericks was killed in 2017 by a sanitation truck in Center City. Hello, everyone. Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner announced charges today against the driver of that truck. Our Natasha Brown is in the CBS3 Satellite Center with more on today's new developments. Natasha? Well, the DA's office again stressing they're taking cases like this very seriously. A sanitation truck driver is now facing homicide by vehicle charges after a 23-year-old bicyclist is killed in Center City. Officials now detailing exactly what led to this crash and what made this case rise to the level of criminal charges. It was the middle of the morning rush hour in Center City, Philadelphia, when 23-year-old cyclist Emily Fredericks was killed. The crash happened on November 28, 2017 at 11th and Spruce Streets when Fredericks was hit by a trash truck. Now the driver of that truck, Jorge Fretz, has been charged with her death. Homicide by vehicle, involuntary manslaughter, and reckless endangerment of another person. Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner announced the charges on the heels of 28-year-old Jorge Fretz surrendered to authorities. Krasner not mincing words on how serious his office is taking cases like this. We live in a society that increasingly gets around by bicycle and we have these things called bike lanes and those bike lanes are like any other lane. They are to protect the people who are traveling within those lanes and they have to be respected. In this particular case, we obtained video from inside the truck. Investigators say the victim was lawfully traveling in the bike lane when she was struck. They detailed what led to the fatal crash and the serious charges against the truck driver. He was wearing earbuds in violation of Pennsylvania law, that he was looking down at paperwork to uh, his right in the center console area of his uh, vehicle. Gold Medal Environmental has since settled a lawsuit with the victim's family. Officials hoping drivers and cyclists can coexist safely on city streets. I do think that this case is a reminder that not only could there be civil consequences, not only could there be career consequences, but there can be criminal consequences when the, the conduct on the roadway is outrageous. A gold medal environmental meantime reached a six million dollar settlement with Emily Frederick's family. The waste management company will also make a one hundred twenty five thousand dollar contribution to local organizations that work to make roads safer for bicyclists. That's the very latest here in the SAT Center. Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Natasha, thank you.